Hey, what is going on guys? Mamas of Promise and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a new addition to the old bedroom here. As you can see, I have another blank shelf. Now, if you remember back about a month ago, I did a video reorganizing my manga collection after I got a brand new shelf. And I guess you could think of this video as kind of a part two to that reorganizing my manga collection video as I do have a new shelf that I'm going to be filling up today. And I'm going to take you guys along with me on the way. Now, as for what I'm planning to do in this video, I'm not planning on moving anything that I did for the last video. You know, the brown shelf and that first black shelf, everything on that is going to stay about the same. You know, my Berserk, Eden, and Gantz singles. Mainly, everything I'm going to be moving is going to be on this white shelf right here. I'm not sure how well you can see it in frame, but uh, the stuff on this is actually double stacked. So I'm going to be moving some of those volumes onto this shelf. So just like last time, I'm going to be giving you guys some commentary and some time lapses to kind of take you along the journey of moving some stuff from this over to this shelf. I hope you guys do enjoy it as much as you did in the last video. And one more thing I want to mention is that I'm doing a huge push for 3,000 subscribers for this channel by the end of the year. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe right now. So many bangers coming very, very soon after this video. I hope you guys enjoy all these manga videos that I'll be pumping out very, very soon. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into the manga reorganizing video. So I'll pick up the tripod real fast. I'll kind of give you a quick glance of my desk. I have a lot of manga just sitting around that I need to put on a shelf, especially my Dora Hidoro volumes. Now the thing that kind of worries me about Dora Hidoro volumes is that they are a little bit on the heavy side, and this is not the highest quality of shelves. It's like a $35 Target shelf, which worked pretty well for the other volumes I had, but for some heavier volumes like this, I'm not sure how well it's gonna hold up. So I'm gonna see how much it makes it bend, but hopefully we should be in the clear to put Dora Hidoro on uh, this shelf, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and try fill in this shelf right here with Dora Hidoro, and we'll see how it looks and uh, we'll decide where to go on from there. All right, so as you saw, we put the Dora Hidora volumes on this shelf, and I decided to throw in the Goku figure that I recently got in my uh, Shopping With Me video that I did. I picked up this Goku figure, so I thought, you know what, I had a little extra space, might as well put it there. I didn't want to put any volumes on it just because I want to make this shelf as uh, light as possible because this would probably be the heaviest shelf I have on this bookcase. But I think it looks really good. The colors really pop out, as you can see. And uh, speaking of colors, the thing that I want to do next is actually move my Slam Dunk volumes onto the shelf right below it, this one here. I really love how the white will pop against the black, how I'm envisioning it. So I'm really excited to see how that looks and hopefully we should be able to fit the entire series on one row, but we're gonna see how that goes and uh, we'll cut right to the time-lapse. All right, so as you guys saw, I just put these slam dunk volumes on that shelf there. I think it looks really, really good, but we're gonna keep working our way down the shelf, and I think we're gonna have a lot more room than I anticipated, so we'll have definitely some room to grow as the collection continues to increase in size. But for the shelf down, I really had a hard time thinking of what I wanted to put on this shelf, but I do think that the final shelf is what I'll use to put my uh, some more heavy books that I have, such as my Cats of the Louvre, and ping pong omnibuses. So I think I'm gonna use the last shelf as kind of a way to store my uh, Taiyo Matsumoto stuff. I also think I'm going to move my Kira box set onto the final shelf just because it's kind of setting on my floor right now, kind of in the way. So I think it'll have a nice home on the bottom. I know you can't see it, but I'll show you guys when I put the books there. I think what the play is right now is I'm going to move my Ultimo volumes, my uh, complete set one through 12, onto this shelf right here, as well as one through 10 of Ajin. This is all I have of the series so far. I recently got it, as you guys will probably see in my manga haul. So yeah, I'm gonna move this series and Ultimo over, and then we're gonna see how much space we have.
All right, so as you guys just saw, I moved my Ultima volumes onto that shelf, but instead of Ajin, I decided to do One Punch Man because I think that the white pops out against the black better than the Ajin does. The Ajin just kind of looked weird against the black shelf, in my opinion. So I'm probably just gonna keep that on the white shelf here. But uh, we also moved the Akira box set and my Taimatsumoto as well as Parasite onto the last shelf and it just barely fit. I think it looks all right. But now the only thing left to do is this top shelf right here. So what I think I'm gonna do for this is move my Flowers of Evil singles, as well as the Samurai Executioner volumes that I just got from my uh, Manga Shopping With Me video. And if I have any more room, I think I'm going to add my Blam singles on this shelf as well. But we're gonna see how much room I have. Um, it just kinda looks out of place on top of the brown shelf, just the Blam singles, since I moved the One Punch volumes. But uh, we're gonna see how much room I have. If there's a little bit extra room, you know, obviously no harm there, but we're gonna see how it looks. And uh, yeah, get right to the time lapse right now. All right, so as you guys just saw, we were able to put Blam, Flowers of Evil, and the volumes I have of Samurai Excursion. I'm missing volume two, but once I get that volume, I'll just probably have another volume kind of sitting up on top of there. But I think it still looks pretty good, and I'm considering maybe moving my Samurai Excursion volumes over to the brown shelf to sit on top where my Low Wolf and Cub volumes are, but I'm kind of still debating. But I'll give you a couple more looks of the shelf and just everything we put on. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I really love how the Dora Dora looks next to the Goku figure and the slam dunk, the one punch. I mean, everything just looks absolutely amazing. This bookcase was a much needed addition to my room, just storing all my manga. I don't like double stacking. And one of my shelves was about to explode with volumes that were overflowing, but I think it looks absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up for this manga reorganizing video. Hope you guys did enjoy. This is a little bit of a prelude to my updated manga collection that I will be uploading by the end of the year. So hope you guys are very excited for that video. If you are, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe for more amazing manga videos to come in the future. So yeah, this has been the Promji. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.